Hi, I'm Greg Brown. I'm David Ivey, and this is Dynamic Discussions. This is another installment in a weekly video series that we're bringing you about fall protection products and how to use them. This week, we have Jane Serigliano with a question. This week's question comes from Chris, and he would like to know, what is your recommendation for best fall gear to use when operating an aerial lift? So the first thing you want to do when working an aerial lift is determine with the manufacturer of the aerial lift, whether it's rated for fall restraint or fall rest. Some of the older aerial lifts out there are likely only rated for fall restraint. And the newer ones, some of those may be equipped with a fall rest anchor point in, in the lift. That changes a lot of things, but one thing you want to still remain is that you follow your hierarchy of fall protection. So you want to try to work unprotected, which means you completely eliminate the hazard and are able to do it on ground level. If you're unable to do that, then you can go up through. This falls into fall restraint in most cases. Uh, and so in that case, you would use a fall restraint device along with a full body harness. So one thing to note, when, you work, when you're working an aerial lift, you need to have a written rescue plan. So your rescue plan should, if something were to happen while you're on the job site, you get dumped out of the bucket, out of the lift, how, how are you gonna get your workers down? So it needs to be written, trained, and properly documented amongst all the team. The nice thing about that is if you're working in fall protection with an aerial lift, you likely have a fall protection rescue plan that you can adapt for this certain scenario.